So in this video, we're going to be learning how to use generators and iterators in Python. So I've got two functions here. I've got a function called process list and I've got another function called process list with generator. And this is gonna show us the difference between using a generator and just using a regular function. So what I have here is a list with 10 digits from one to 10 and process list, all it does is it multiplies every item in the list by two. And down here, all we do is we print out the lists. So if I run this, this is the first list and this is the list after we've done our processing. And if we look at the code, it's really simple. It's just a for loop where we multiply every element in the list by two and then we return the entire list. A generator lets us use Python's special yield keyword. So here's how we print out the regular list. We iterate through every item in the list. And when we run the function, we return an entire list. By using a generator, we do the exact same thing. We iterate through our list, but our generator doesn't return an entire list. Instead of returning the whole list, we return each individual item after we've done our processing onto it. So in this case, we're returning an entire list. In this case, we're returning a single item in the list. We're gonna run our function process list with generator, and it's gonna run until we hit the yield keyword. Then it's gonna yield to our for loop, which means it exits this function and goes to the rest of the for loop, which means we're gonna print out the value. And then since we're back in the for loop, we're gonna go to the next item, and we're gonna call our generator function on that we're going to yield the second element in our list. And then we're gonna go back to the for loop, print it out, run the for loop again, print the third value, and we're gonna keep going the whole way through the list. So you're probably wondering, what's the difference between returning the whole list and just iterating over it versus this method where we return each item one at a time from the list? There are two main advantages. The first one is that our generator function looks a lot tidier because instead of having a separate return down here, we can replace those two lines with just our yield keyword, which makes our function a lot tidier. But the biggest reason for using generators is because if we had a massive list, say we had a million elements in our list or even more than that, the first function is gonna return the entire list with a million elements, which means that whole list has to be stored in memory just so that we can iterate through it down here. But using a generator, we don't have to return the entire list. We just return each element as it's needed. Whenever we need the element, we're going to return it. But then after we're finished with it, the computer can just get rid of that and it can free that memory up for the rest of the program. So it's much more memory efficient to process lists with generators. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favor, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. Don't forget to check out the highcode.org website. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.